So, ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to tell you something about the sample collection. So, what are the indications? Sometimes there is a motion, sometimes there is a beat breathing. See, in these cases, usually you have to go for the collection of the uterine sample and send to the blood to check to actually which organism is the culprit. You can go for culture sensitivity, you can go for also the isolation of various organisms. So, in that case, I would like to tell you how to take it. This is a AI rod. This has a nectar and uh, this is a 30 ml range just to push the material out. Like this. So the principle is actually I will move this rod deep into the uterus in the horns. It's the first important step when you are going for uh, the passing of rod is actually you hold a uterus this way. That's a please. Say this is uterus. You hold the uterus this way and you put your thumb in front of the cervix. So when you insert the rod deep into the body, into the, into the vagina, I will touch the rod with my thumb. My thumb is just in front of the cervix. I will move my thumb backwards and the rod will go into the uterus. And then with a slight manipulation, it will go deep into the palm. So I'm just going to give you the demonstration. The first important step is you have to completely, completely remove all the manure from the track. The track must be clean. There must be no manure in it. This will not hamper and your procedure. This animal is not uh, having any sort of pus or any sort of disturbance in it. I just, uh, you are using this animal for the sake of learning, for the sake of teaching. Second most important step is the cleaning of the genitalia. The external genitalia. For that, there are two ways. One is you can use tissue papers. And the other desi way is, Dr. Please, you can use the tail of the animal. It is not serving the purpose that you can use the empty bags as well. Just leave it like you. And open the cervix this way. Just insert the rod. This is inside. I'm going to touch it with my thumb so that it may go deep inside. This animal is really good, it's not really straining. Here. Now it is in the horns. Now when it, this is in the horns, you can push the material out in this way. In, in this case, there is no pus inside because the animal is clean. Because when there is a certain issue with the animal, you can push the pus and then leave it. Then you can move the rod outside. Okay. Now the next step is. So please give me my stick. The next step is you can use this my stick. One more. You can see that the opening is closed now. <laughs> There's no opening. Now you can send this steel rod containing the debris, the pus, 
the uterine fluid to the laboratory and then we'll use this fluid for culture sensitivity or for the isolation of the organisms or any anything you want to confirm thank you very much